Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. <laughs> I love you guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do. Because that's just going to spill the tea straight. No taste, uh, no sugar coating bullshit. It is what it is, guys. So cheers. I love you. I hope you've had a beautiful day, beautiful night, wherever you are in the world. Let me know. Comment in the bottom, guys. I love you. If you like and my readings have been resonating, you can subscribe. Hit the corner button, the bell icon, and push all, and you will get notified when I post these live premieres. I do the live premieres to bypass the commercials, but if you are watching the commercials, thank you. Every little bit counts. So, so let's see what's going on here. Now, I did go to the hospital, so I am on antibiotics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a bunch of cards, and I'm gonna tell you what's going on, okay? It goes a lot faster, and I can get like a lot more done. I could sit back and just look at the cards while I'm telling you what's going on, okay? So grab your key, like I said, put yourself where you belong. These are timeless general and collective readings. So they may or may not resonate from start to finish. It is YouTube, so please use your discernment, okay? So I'm taking from the manifestation moonology cards first. Now I'm going to get the overall energy. Now it's talk less, feel more, karmic relationship. Nothing will come from this situation and know your worth. Okay, ancestors, overall energy is the, the, high, um, the hermit with the wheel of fortune in reverse. I'm going to get the Witch's Oracle deck. Let's see what the overall message is. Bottom of the deck is Chicken. We have Bravery, the Body. History, subconscious, boar, and lantern. Okay, we're going to clarify that. Ancestors, let's clarify bravery. Okay, so let me clean off my hands. What's the bravery, ancestors? So we have the Princess of Wands, the Four of Coins, and the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Clarifying the body is the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. The Two of Swords and the Seven of Wands. That Nine of Wands is in reverse. And that Page of Wands is in reverse. Ancestors, that King of Pentacles. There's a King of Pentacles who may be burdened, wants to come in and offer you something. Ancestors, clarify the history. Thank you. It's the Sun in reverse. The Six of Cups with the Nine of with the Five of Cups. In reverse judgment, in reverse ace of swords. That's the truth. Somebody wants to come in to offer you something. I'm going to elaborate in a few minutes on what that is. Something from your past wants to replay. Subconscious and can you answer? Can you clarify subconscious, please? Thank you. You got the ten of coins, the emperor, the six of swords. And can you clarify the boar? Ace of Coins, the Three of Wands, the 
Ace of Wands in reverse with the Justice in the upright. Ace of Coins, Knight of Discs, the Moon. To clarify that more. And then the Lantern. Ancestors can clarify the Lantern. Something is being enlightened. You know your worth. This karmic energy is ending. Nothing will come of the situation, guys. Ancestors, that's the Queen of Swords comes out as I'm saying that. It's the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Coins in reverse. The Three of Swords with the Fool. See, like I said, this King of Coins from your past wants to come in to really like, I don't know, invest in you in some kind of way, shape, or form. But they're upset because they you know your worth. So they know they can't come in with some side, half-stepping kind of energy. Because you don't see them as a good investment, okay? You see them actually as a liability. And you're going to allow people to come in, speak their truth, 555 five, five on my clock. But there's major changes. So anything from the past, anybody who's trying to keep you stuck, you're not, you're not down for it anymore. You're not willing to invest in that anymore. You are really speaking the truth when it comes to something that you like. You got this aha moment. You got this understanding of where you want to go and where you were. And, and you're okay with it. Okay, so with this bravery, you may have had a lot of tyrants in your energy, a lot of people who had a, a big opinion on what you were supposed to do, and they're holding on to trying to help you out in whichever which way, shape, or form because of the love that you have with that Ace of Cups. They're scared of you, okay? And you had to be brave because you had to fight all these transgressors, all these... People who were, they were bullying you. I'm not going to lie. Like, people just didn't like you for some reason. And if they really think about it, they really didn't have a reason. It had something to do with your heart and the way that you were brave. You, you were really a pioneer spirit. You really paved through things. You really do go inwards with that hermit and really think logically about situations. And somebody feels like, you know, the creep, you know, like they're watching you and they, they wish that you were special, but uh, they wish that they were special like you. Now, listen, everybody's got their own thing. And, and that's what somebody was insecure about. It's like they rejected you, they held back from you because they felt like, well, everybody is giving you some kind of attention or something. And, and, and that's not true. Okay, so somebody is, is really like, it's talking less, feeling more is what the energy is, right? So you're being brave, you're thinking, you're going inwards. Even if people like isolate you or, or reject you or ghost you in some kind of way, it's clearly because it needed to happen, okay? So don't always put all that pressure on you. Don't feel so bad, okay? Because right now, you're in this energy of, mind, body, and soul, okay? The nurturing of self. When you come to oneness, you're not scared of nothing. Now, there is a lot of people in that chicken kind of energy, right? They're very scared of you. I don't know why. It, it's because you carry something that they don't have. It's the love. Or somebody has so much love for you, so they get all tongue-tied and twisted, and, 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 and they don't know what to do. Because they look at you like, you're so fucking special. Why do you want me? Why do you need me? And there's something that is just there. This is why somebody needs to be brave. You need to be brave and go towards something new. Remember that it's about balancing yourself. Because you are worth protecting. You are worth protecting. But there was something that you weren't seeing. It caused you to feel weak. Or another person externally from you in that nine of wands. It's like they're... They wanted to go to war with somebody who was brave. Now they're falling. They feel like they don't belong wherever they are. They don't belong in a situation. And this is why we have to get grounded within ourselves. You may not have belonged in that situation place with that person, but you're finding your footing and you're going to find the person that's for you. This is why the ancestors are telling you to look at the history. Okay, Somebody's laundry is being aired out right now. And it's a karmic relationship, whether this is your karmic relationship from the past, present, or an external energy's karmic relationship. So maybe you're just looking at the polarities, right? The differences. Now, this is soul growth. Karmic energies are put in our life to teach us something. And this is what you're learning. <laughs> you're learning that it was necessary for you to go through whatever you had to go through. And you are very needed, very wanted, and very much protected. 
but somebody is in a depression right now. Um, because they want to give to you, it's somebody from the past, the Six of Cups, okay? And you're going to have to look at it, and, and you may have to let go of something because the judgment is in reverse. It's like a lot of people refuse to look at themselves, so they blame others for their circumstances when really we're only responsible for ourselves. Five of Cups. It's no longer dwelling on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, the maybes, the what ifs, the spilled milk, you know? There's things we cannot cut retrieve from the past, but we have to be grateful for the experiences because it made us who we are today. Grounded, stable, loving. A lot of people are walking around solo. And this is why you look back in history. Yes, sometimes it makes us depressed, you know, and it makes us sad, and we wonder how come we weren't invited, how come we weren't wanted. But sometimes it doesn't have to do with anything with us. And sometimes we're put in isolation with that hermit to really look. Because the wheel of fortune is in reverse. So the only way we can really turn that wheel is to really take it upon ourselves to do something better with our lives. Where are you going for the mass crowd? So, subconscious. You go inward to think, logically, what do I need out of this life? And how can I move to the best of my abilities where I'm not hurting myself or another? Subconscious. It's the ten of this. When you really do love yourself and understand that people are going to judge you, they're going to judge you. 144, 1144 on my clock, they're going to judge you because you're part of something bigger. And you don't want to be part of their clique. It's fine. You don't need to click up with people. <laughs> At the end of the day, the Six of Swords, you're moving away from it. And you're moving right into something that's just for you. Just for you. Your legacy. Your path. Everybody has their own mission. And sometimes 12-12, sometimes we have to go through these karmic relationships to see our work. And nothing will come of the situation. And your subconscious knows that, so we have to let go, know our worth. The boar, we're clarifying it. There was a lot in the dark. It could have been magic, it could have been manipulation, it could have been gossip and slander like I've been talking about. But at the end of the day, somebody wants to come in and it could be that king of pentacles who wants to tell the truth. Because they're feeling inadequate about coming to offer you something, they feel like they have nothing really truly to offer. It's because their soul, right? They, I don't know, something, somebody is so stuck in the 3D that they think they need this big fancy things to get you when it has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. But somebody doesn't know you very well. So, it is what it is. If somebody wants to be with you, they'll get, they'll get to know you. And you won't have to say anything. That's true love. It is what it is. Sometimes, you know, love is just, being around somebody and, and not having to say anything at all. That's probably why I'm single. <laughs> Ace of Discs, the Ace of Wands, and the Justice. Guys, I'm serious. You have a lot going for you, a lot. And justice is prevailing, especially when it comes to these boars, these animalistic kind of energies. Now, somebody underestimated you. They thought because, you know, you're put together or you're cute and cuddly or, you know, that you were full of shit. That you weren't who the fuck you said you were. Well, like Prodigy says, woohoo, <laughs> someone got a whole rude awakening, guys. <laughs> Seven of coins, now you look at them like a fucking liability. You don't want to work with this person. This is why they're upset. They don't know if they want to come in and offer you this job or this love. The seven of uh, two of three of swords is here to clarify that aha like lightning moment. Well, the the lantern with that queen of swords, the fool and the nine of cups. So it's like you you're uh, frustrated, <laughs> frustrated by people who are arrogant. That's what it comes down to. That's your pet peeve, arrogancy. Somebody was arrogant and. They never showed you how much they needed you, but yes, they need you. Somebody's uh, ego got the best out of them. They never really told you how much they cared, how much they truly needed you, and well.
It's not my problem. Ooh. Somebody thinks you don't feel anything at all. <laughs> Seven of coins in reverse. You do. It's just, you've taken a long time. It's like, think of it this way. Like, you, you were in the gym training and... And, you know, now it's game time. You know, you may have been benched for a little while because ancestors benched you. They said, you know, you're not ready for this game because it's not your time. So you watched everybody else have their time, patiently waiting for yours. Now the ancestors are tapping you in, all right? And these people want to come and be on your team now because they know that you're the MVP. But they've been wondering where you've been. And it's like you were training, Trying to get ready for this. You you were nowhere in sight. You were just put one five five five, putting your head down, drinking your water, and minding your business. So cheers. You know your worth. And if somebody wants to be your friend, wants to be part of your life, because guys, if you're anything like me, we don't even have family. And that's by choice. So choose your it's about quality over quantity. And somebody is realizing that. Page of Wands. Now you're getting a message in. But it's only after a lot of tyrant energies. You have to fight them. And then they end up getting defeated. Because they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. And eventually all the, all the lies end up coming to light. So it's like you really don't have to fight with people. And when you are, you know, for somebody, you're loyal to them. You're not going to call them out in public, but you will call them out in the background when you get to the car, you know, when you go in the house or something. And somebody is like, you know, knows that you're going to call them out. So they're kind of worried on what you're going to say to them because they know they're going to have, you're going to have a couple words for them. And it's only right. They're way, they're, they don't know what to say to you and they don't know what you're going to say to them. Somebody needs to break the ice, and it ain't going to be you, because like I said, you look at them like a liability. This is why somebody is coming in as that page of wands, like very immature. But it's very brave, though. Very brave. Got to give it to them on that. Ancestors, that's why it says, talk less and feel more. Sometimes it's just good to be around somebody you don't even got to fucking say anything to. They already know where it hurts, and they already know how you feel. Wow, Prince of, uh, Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. Somebody feels left out from you, okay? It's like they may have even rejected you, not seeing your true value. But now somebody sees your heart. It's just unfortunate sometimes this happens only after you are gone. But now somebody wants to protect you. Now I'm really feeling this is a new energy, guys. But sometimes, some, like I said, some great God creator puts us on the bench because we still got a lot of learning to do. We still got a lot of, you know, internal fighting to do. When we conquer the, those own demons, slay those dragons within ourselves, the good things come. But you have to see the karmic relationships for what they are, the polarities, the soul growth, the conflict is usually internally a okay, guys. Now the sun is in reverse again. Somebody is depressed because of that nine of cups, that arrogance, you guys. Somebody is like not getting any wishes from them. They could have a lot. They can have a lot. But the one thing that matters isn't around. It says, let your fears dissolve, full moon in cancer. I, was, I just noticed that. So you may have to let those fears dissolve, guys. Because, come on, we all deserve the best, the power. Whatever you're building, it's... It's on sacred foundation. And there is two things there. The light and the dark. You are protected. Now, yes, there is going to be some kind of life-changing event. And it may rock the phone, you know, the tower a little bit. It may, like, you know, rock your, your stability a little bit. But you're not falling from grace. You're just getting your footing. And somebody is upset about that because they really can't take what's yours. Maybe or they, they weren't part of it, or they weren't there with you in the gym when you were training the hardest, when you needed it the most. That's what somebody is really upset about. Because that ten of pentacles, that legacy is yours, but it's how you want to do it. Wow, it's the king of pentacles in the upright. 
He's coming out. He wants to come towards you. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. It's somebody who, you know, knows what they want and goes after it. Very goal-oriented, very structured, you know. Is, this is the kind of person who's going to take care of you. And it's the queen to the king. But this king is in the dark because he may be very 3D. A lot of very superficial. That's why they didn't see you for your value. But now they're seeing it and they're feeling upset. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And the Eight of coin, uh, Cups. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away because you felt that there was a third party. It's the devil in reverse. That's why you look at this person as a liability. Your subconscious told you that there was a third party. You may have been dreaming about it while you were with somebody. Your body may have rejected this person. You know, um, how do I say this? Like, you know, like your pH balances may have been all fluctuated and stuff because somebody was sharing their sexual energy with somebody else. It is what it is. And somebody knows that you will know. You will know. Now, unfortunately, you may have had to let go of Ten of Cups in reverse. Family, a group, a corporation. A lot of people who knew that this was going on. This magic manipulation or this backstabbing bullshit that I just explained. That's why justice is coming in. There was a lot of bore energies. They thought you were an easy target. Like, you weren't even going to fucking know what was really going on. But you still moved away because the ancestors guided you away. Wow, the Ten of Swords. It's fucking rock bottom. It hurt. It hurt. But you had already let go of the codependencies. You're, you're not codependent to anybody. You're not going to stay to somebody just because. Like, seriously? Somebody sees you as super, super fucking valuable, but they got no passion, no drive, no inspiration, and they didn't show you anything of this. Like I said, these people could have a lot of money, but they have no passion. They, they're creative munchers, happiness haters. So you had to cut the fucking head off, the fucking dragon off the snake. Sometimes it's us. You had that ha ha moment and like was realizing like, you know what, this may be a bad investment. And these people may not really truly love me or cherish me. So the Knight of Coins, you had to be patient and understand that that heartbreak was for a reason. So you felt the pain. But you built something all by yourself. And you have nobody to thank but yourself. Ace of Cups in reverse. And somebody is sad that you don't love them anymore. That you don't see the world the same way. Or maybe you're... I don't know. It's like the ancestors have really cleaned off a lot of energy. And all these bored people who thought that you were an easy target, their laundry is being aired out to dry. A lot of people are, are talking less and feeling more. And what they're feeling is that you didn't deserve anything that had happened. Ten of Wands. There's that Ten of Wands. You see what I mean? But somebody is not carrying the burden of what everybody else thinks anymore. They're not being a prisoner of that opinion of others. They're not doing that anymore. Instead, you're carrying the weight of your own I don't know if you can hear this, but my only friend is the city I can the city. Now, somebody is realizing that if they want to have a good life, not with you, just in general, everybody, have a good life, then they're going to have to learn to carry the weight of their own life and not live for other people because you live for other people, you're going to live upset crying and in despair and you're going to make sure that other people don't see you in this way this is why it's very important to be transparent we're not perfect guys that's why i have no makeup on nothing i feel like i don't know <laughs> i'm sick i have a uh, bronchitis i'm on two different antibiotics anyways i sat at the hospital all day to make sure that i'm okay because both my boys come home tomorrow my oldest was on a grade 11 trip to indian country he went for a couple days so Somebody is realizing that you are solid gold, not plated gold. You ain't no fucking for play play. And you didn't deserve anything that has done to you death. That's why there's, a, there's an ending. 
major ending for the people in the past, okay? You have nothing to worry about, Nine of Swords, they're blocked. They're having a hard time to sleep <sighs> because of the illusion, Seven of Cups. Now, they're out of the illusions, you're out of the illusions, you got the aha moment, you know who to cut off, and you know your worth. So you're understanding that nothing's going to come of this situation. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. And whatever karmic relationships that have happened in the past or that will even happen in the future, you're going to learn from them. Because you're going to take that information and you're going to enjoy the time that you spend with people without using them and making sure that you don't get used in the process. It's time to feel. Nobody ever wants to feel... You don't want to feel the way that it felt. And somebody doesn't want to feel that way either. Somebody's scared of you. Now, why are they scared? They're scared to come in with this message, this love, because of the illusion. Even though the, the illusions have broken, they see the sun, which is you clearly, or, you know, an opportunity, the sun, right? It's, uh, they're seeing something. They're still scared. And it's the hermit. They're scared of themselves. Somebody has been wearing a mask for so long that they're scared to be themselves. And they're scared of you because you're so fucking authentic. So let's get some messages and see what's going on here. Yeah, look, they're spying. They're watching you. They're inspecting. They're trying to see if something has changed. If, if it's worth giving their life away. Look, somebody wants to nurture you with a lot of compassion. A lot of people weren't very fucking compassionate towards you. But look, you have so much chemistry, so much passion, so much life. And somebody has been spying on you and they want to nurture you. But maybe because they have money, you don't want to fuck with them. If you're anything like me, I promised myself when I was fucking like 18 that I would never be with somebody for money because the person that I, the fir my first boyfriend ever, my ever first boyfriend, I was like, fuck, this guy was chasing me when I was 12. And I, I had sex with him for the first time. I was like 14. I was really, I was a baby. And nobody seemed to have a problem with it. Also, I was very intelligent for my age and I didn't look my age at all but it's besides the point it was wrong in all, every which way shape or form and it really fucked with my head the way I you know so maybe somebody knows your history and knows that you don't you don't you don't want somebody just because of something they have or something they can give you Wow. It's limitations and fears. Okay, this is why it's saying you gotta let go of those fears. Somebody may want to take care of you and you don't know what that is. So you're scared. Let go. Okay, because you may just be paranoid. Okay? You just may be paranoid. Freedom. Take that leap, guys. It says opportunities. <laughs> Wow, there's a drama queen or king who's thirsty, and that's why somebody is feeling like, look, <laughs> somebody went to a whore, and they said that their life is a bore because that's all they do is talk about you, and you're giving yourself the creeps because you, you, you just, you, I'm, I'm giving you the creeps because I'm talking real. Somebody wants to meet you. Somebody wants to come and have a conversation with you. Now, there could have been two or plus more people discussing and planning. It's the board. That fucking drama queen goes right underneath that board energy. I'm telling you, this thirsty-ass, chaos-causing person was trying to interfere in your life. And somebody is feeling upset with their fucking hands in their head because they know that you're nothing like this person. You actually avoid people if they have money because you don't trust people. And somebody loves you for that. They know that you're not easy. They know that you're, I don't know, you're very admired. Somebody admires you. They think you're fucking enchanting. <sighs> and somebody lacks 
they doubted themselves, they doubted the relationship, they doubted the friendship, and they, a lot of people are threatened by you. They got egg on their fucking face, they looked at you like you were a fucking clown, and their mind was playing tricks on them. Everything's adding up. You're cracking up. Somebody's paranoid right now because they feel like whatever they send towards you is coming back. And 95% sure probably is. Be careful. Do unto others as you want done because somebody is in a lot of lack right now and they're suffering because of the past situation. But we can always heal from the past, okay? So, look. It's unconditional love. Have unconditional love for yourself, guys, okay? There's some genuine love coming in, but there's a lot of uncertainty, so buckle up, all right? Because look, there's a dramatic change, a harsh cutoff. Somebody is getting cut the fuck off. Why? Because you ascended past all these people, and you helped somebody else awaken. Somebody's saying you make them want to stay. Nobody else has ever made them feel the way that you made them feel. Like you really do make this person's heart skip a beat. Like no other person made that person's heart skip a beat. Like they're like, oh, how do I approach this person that's so like, you you have like a fucking, you are Fort Knox right now. Like no, and nobody can penetrate that wall right now. You might want to put down that guard a little bit because you're safe. Safety and comfort. For the woman's hand. Cause I'm not. Somebody sees you. They know you're wounded and they want to take time with you. But you need to take time with a wounded hand too. Somebody is just as wounded, but somebody likes to steal. They Oh my God, be careful, okay? Because look, you have backstabbing and runner. Somebody ran because they backstabbed you. I'm half the man I used to be. 3222 on my clock. There was third three parties. Three parties. <laughs> okay. Somebody went to three parties. Talked about you at those parties. No, I don't know. But at the end of the day, there was three people, okay, guys, that knew this person had backstabbed you. They're fucking heartbroken. They're in a lot of pain, so they're trying to they were trying to cause some kind of separation, some kind of alienation now they're shocked because now they're ones who are being attacked you were shocked by this fucking betrayal you wondered why somebody ran away from you why they didn't say anything why they ghosted why they broke up an engagement wow take it as it resonates but you knew that it was a third party and that third party is feeling very threatened by you right now they got egg on their face because whatever they said is a motherfucking lie it's just like reflection of what they are and somebody is saying how come you didn't tell me how you feel Wow, social media. Somebody's keeping tabs and it's that third party. There could have even been a breakup. There is a breakup right now, blowing kisses because somebody knows somebody's blowing you kisses. Somebody wants to be with you. Un unconditional love. This is a new love. A new love is coming in, guys. It's a renewed hope. Girl with a snake. Charmed, used, enabled boundaries. Now, there could be a friend. Could be a family member. Take it as it resonates. That loves to be with the people that you're with. Because this charming girl with a snake is trying to charm her way back in to see who this new lover is so they can get up in your energy. Is what? And that's why somebody's shocked. That's the fucking truth. Somebody lied. They said that they cared about this person. They didn't care. They cared about the fucking money. And they cared that you were getting a fall from grace in some kind of way, that they were able to take something from you. But they didn't really care about the person. They never really care about the fucking person. Somebody is realizing that all those plans, all the magic, all the moves, it's fucking, it's backfired and everybody's shit is being aired. Oh, wow, storm, huh, shit. <laughs> Everybody in the wake of, you know, the hurricane, please, duck. Anybody in the wake of the ancestors coming? A lot of people, their subconscious being haunted. Not yours. You're free from any judgments because of the fact that you know you did your best. And you took your time with your own heart. 
Somebody should have took time with you. Somebody should have asked you what was going on, but they didn't. Instead, they listened to other people, friends, family, acquaintances. These people, clearly lovers, they, they, they didn't love you enough. They didn't. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you need to let those fears dissolve and you need to let somebody truly love you because you are worth so much more than what you've went through. You may have been able to handle it, but you didn't deserve it. And that's why there's a storm for these people. Something's coming because you're honest. You're that fucking sacred owl. You stand in your truth. You are the truth messenger. And somebody sees you as very fucking seductive. Now people are trying to keep people trapped with sex. And, and that's not real love, guys. Because what happens if you're sick? What happens if a man becomes intimate, uh, impotent? You're not going to love him anymore because his body doesn't work for you? You know, what happens when a man feels half of that man that he used to be? Are you going to leave him? But what about the woman, too? People need to, they, they forget that. And that's why, look, look, you're healing and you're releasing. Scar tissue, better wish you saw. You really wish somebody saw your scars. Now you have scar tissue over that. It's like, it's, it's a heal that nobody was there with you healing. So it's so hard for you to let down that guard. But from the heart message says, I am... A conscious creator of the energy around me. This is why you don't have very many people around you right now. Because when you did, it wasn't of quality. There was a lot of people there. But it's like you felt very empty. You know what I mean? It was like you felt very alone around a lot of people. And now that you're alone, you don't feel alone. Do you see what I mean? That's what happens when you get grounded and see yourself not so lonely after all it's a lonely world when you got a lot of people around you and they don't even fucking take the time to actually care to know anything about you it says i am clear and open to receive miracles now you're clear and open it's time to receive miracles that's my spiritual burps congratulations guys you did the work even on your worst days even when you don't feel up to bar you still put your best foot forward and that's what matters and it says, I release fear of the unknown. I can move forward with energy and enthusiasm. Congratulations. You are getting a, a little bit of a, re, a reboost, a reboot, per se. Okay, so congratulations. I hope these readings have been helpful. Let's get a last closing message to bring this together. You know your work. Go into hermit mode, but... It's like if you're feeling like you're being ghosted, it's for a reason, okay? You don't deserve to be in that situation. You don't deserve to feel that heartbreak any longer. You know people are lying. Be grateful that you got the truth because there's a lot of people who pretend like they're not doing anything and then be friends in your face. And these are the kind of energies that have a special place when they go, okay? So number 20 doesn't mean that they're... You know, they can't change, but it just means, like, they really don't want to. They they enjoy this energy of, where is my, where's my book? They enjoy the energy of, you know, the pity party. So number 20 is a two. So it's time to get grounded, mind, body, soul, okay? So that this way you can listen to what your subconscious wants, your subconscious, your dreams. Now, somebody is scared of you in real life. That's why they do a lot of shit in the background. This is the sounds of the inner sea. Rest, meditate, and stop, okay? There is a period in life when you need to withdraw, rest, sleep, meditate, and give yourself time to rejuvenate. Take a look at what you're currently doing. How busy is your light of life of late? Give yourself permission to stop and reflect. Take time out to do what you choose to do. Step out of the rat race for a day or two or even a few hours if it is not possible. Just breathe. Nurturing yourself is important at this time. If you feel it is an indulgent task, then think again. At this moment, the most important person is you. There is no need to answer other people's demands. You must put boundaries in place before you burn yourself out. Take heed with this card. You need rest and deep sleep. Do not feel guilty for taking a breathing space. That's why I don't have my readings open. 
But when I do open back my readings, I will have, you know, one-on-one -on -one, um, personal readings. And I will have venting courses. Like, you know, you just call me and vent all you want. You know what I mean? Because of the fact that I've done that for so many people. And yes, my clients from in the States, they do pay me for venting classes. But people from my town don't. And I am going to start charging. Because it's draining. Especially when people like think that they can continuously keep coming to you. And dump on you. And not actually have any reciprocation. And then when you tell them no and put up a boundary, they block you. Like that's, that's a bit much. <laughs> bit much so i'm cutting it up this is what it is i'm sorry that one person has to fuck up the whole thing for everybody but that's just the way it goes right so i'm trying to run a business here i'm trying to put food on my plate for my children so for the time being I'm not making any money and that's fine because i don't live for the money and i i get i i don't i don't want for very much my kids are good so we invest when we need to invest in the right things. And right now, it's time to invest in yourself. And you don't want to hear about anything going on anywhere because everybody's got a story to tell. And everybody knows about the truth. So, From the Queen of England to the arms of hell. See what I 